Welcome to this installation video. Today we are installing a DJI FPV goggle wrap from nxgraphics.ca. You are going to need a non-sharp edge like a credit card or debit card, a heat gun or a hair dryer, and uh, isopropyl and a non-lint cloth. You will be wiping down the goggles uh, and you will be wiping your fingers uh, to degrease uh, the goggles and your hands and this will help the sticker uh, stick the best. You absolutely need heat for this installation so if you are buying this and you don't have a heat gun or you can't borrow one I would strongly suggest not buying not buying the uh, wrap. Right here after I've cleaned this I've taken off the uh, face the eye plate or yeah eye plate I guess is what you want to call it. I am going through the uh, sheet fairly quickly here. It's sped up quite quick. I don't want to take too much of your time. These pieces need to be taken out as you don't need them. The sheet is numbered. You can use a pick or you can use a, um, your fingers, but please do not rip the sticker as it's got a lot of uh, recesses and uh, they can be fragile. So first thing is you want to line up the uh, high adjustments basically line this up to, to the best to, that you can the fit is there there's also extra uh, material in case you're off by a little bit so it's not a big deal and um, do not press down the sticker until you're happy with the uh, with the alignment once you're happy with it you can start uh, basically just uh, not pulling on the sticker but gently uh, placing it and when you're happy with the fit you can start putting it down the uh, the head strap uh, the mounts you can actually take them off if, if you want to make it a little easier to to take uh, to put on I for some reason I only took one side off uh, right here I'm pointing to some of the edges that were kind of impossible to get the wrap to fully go over so there are a couple spots where the gray, the dark gray will still show. But uh, as I go back here, uh, the fit is here. It's very generous. Uh, you can pull it back if you're not happy, if it's overlapping too much. Uh, the heat is a, a key tool in this uh, installation. You can see that I'm flicking up the corner there, but I'm just gently putting it down. I'm happy with the fit. This part right here will not go down without heat. So this is where heat is very important to use. Now the thing with heat is a hair dryer can do the job. Um, I use a heat gun myself. I use low heat. As you can see here, I'm writing down low heat only. Uh, please, I advise you that uh, try not to burn your goggles. Don't damage yourself. Uh, you do not need that much heat. You lightly, you lightly heat the edge and you can basically just wait for the sticker to relax and you can just press it down. You don't have to force it down. Same thing with the other side. Now, the particular order that I'm, I'm putting this together is so that uh, the sticker overlaps over itself and uh, uh, minimizes on the gaps um, from, from, for the sticker. It also helps it all stick together once it's all combined into one piece. Uh, I went, not one piece, but uh, the uh, illusion that it's uh, one piece wrap. This piece here, you just pretty much uh, go from the middle and push outwards. Like I said, you don't need too much heat. You can, uh, if you feel that the sticker is uh, being stubborn, you can put a little bit more heat, but always, always, always use low heat. As you can see here, uh, you can have someone helping you holding the goggles uh, if that's what you like. It could be a two person job. And uh, once you're happy with the, the way it's, it's sitting, um, just make sure with your thumbs, just from inside out, um, just check the fit. Now for here, I for some reason I took the the side piece off for the uh, head strap. I just found that 
maybe it's going to be a little bit easier i'm just showing you that it you can just take both off right away it's not a big deal this piece here is for like the nose part as long as you line it up from uh, the bottom and then on the top there um, the fit will be there now once this piece is sitting on top there's a little process to this you will have to coach the sticker either uh, side either to the left or to the right so you can just basically do a, just a, a light test to see where you are on the uh, alignment it's not going to be perfect once you put it like right away so you'll have to move it like i said right or left and um right here i i use the screwdriver but i should be using a uh, non-scoring uh, edge so like that's where the credit card comes in here i'm showing you that i've left extra material also so then that way the uh, eye plate pushes down the sticker and um gives it the uh the maximum coverage for the uh, goggles now i'm going to be showing you here so if you just try to put it on straight it's not going to fit so this is where the adjustment comes in where you kind of have to coach the sticker you got to push it out and then push the inside in the fit is there but uh it's a little it's a little tricky it can be tricky and that's why i'm showing you this right here uh so this would be my credit card or my debit card or non-sharp edge and you can tuck these pieces in uh, in some places where around the world it's going to be humid, hot, or it's going to be cold, the sticker in when it's cold uh, will generally give you more issues. It won't want to uh, bend down in those uh, in those little corners. So you can use your credit card, debit card to push it down, and then with some heat, you can basically relax the sticker, and uh, it'll get in those uh, hard to reach uh, uh, spots. Here I got my gun. I make sure that I'm not using too much heat. Uh, if it's too hot for your hand, it's too hot for the goggles. Um, try not to burn the foams. And um, yeah, and just be careful where you place it too. So as you can see here, I basically use the my makeshift credit card um, and uh, just tuck the corners in. Once I'm happy with that, I check to fit and I'm okay, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna add a little more heat here. and uh, tuck in the uh, the edges. Now this top edge here overlaps. So um, when you heat it up, it, it might uh, curl in. You can simply take a pick and uh, pull it out, press it down, overlap it. It doesn't matter whether it's the top overlapped or the bottom overlapped, as long as it's overlapped and it's not bunched up. And it actually looks really good with uh, once they're overlapped and uh, the face plate is on. If you happen to make a mistake, you can also take the sticker and uh, pull it off gently. But when it's warm, you got to realize that you are stretching the sticker. So uh, I would wait for the sticker to cool off. And uh, when you're going to pull it off, pull it off gently. Try not to stretch it. And then you can just have another go at it. Here, I'm basically checking the corner. And I'm happy with that. And I'm moving on to piece number three, which is going to go here on top. Now, this piece is delicate when it comes off. So don't just try to rip it. There's multiple uh, relief cuts in this. And um, you can see here that I'm trying to be very gentle with it. I'm not stretching it. I'm just letting it uh, just lay in my hand and slowly going around. This might be a two person uh, thing if you're worried about um, wrecking the sticker but just don't tug on it you are going to align the uh, back piece and the front as you can see where I point and you are basically gently just going to place it so you can uh, check to see uh, where the sticker is going to be you want to start from the center and uh, you want to push outwards right there you can see that I'm trying to line up the edge and uh, once everything's uh, heated up it'll I can 
I'm going to start pushing everything down from the center and moving outwards. Uh, by doing this, this will eliminate uh, bubbles from appearing in your wrap. And uh, if you do get one, you can just slightly, lightly pull it back and uh, push it back, push it back on again. Uh, this piece here is there's a um, there's a bit of a, a curve. So the way I made the sticker is so that um, it it's going it's going to basically uh, just rest in those spots with uh, heat. So you may have to move the sticker back and forth a couple times just to get the right fit, but uh, it's, um, as you can see, the fit is there. Yeah, so I'm using my thumbs just to kind of push the sticker on. I'm making sure this piece looks like it's not going to go on properly. So what I do is I just, I just want to try follow the the line right there that I pointed at. And you can see that I'm basically going to coach the sticker back to the right a bit and uh, try to follow the lines. And like you can see my hands basically left or right. Uh, it's really depends on how you lay the sticker down. If it's pretty extreme, you may have to take the whole piece off and then just uh, try to center it again. So right here, I for some reason, I chose not to take the uh, buckle off. But uh, with a credit card or a, uh, a pick, you, you can get in there. If you don't feel like taking the buckles off, it's your choice. Just make sure you don't lose your, your screws and uh, anything that you've pulled off the goggles. Uh, the faceplate is pretty much, you, you're going to want to take that off to install, but everything else, is, you don't have to. So now that I'm happy with uh, the edge, the edges, uh, obviously they're not sticking very well right here. This is where the heat again comes in and I'm going to put some heat, but basically try not to put too much heat. You don't want to ruin your foam. And, um, as you can see here, I'm relaxing the sticker again, using light heat only. So a hairdryer will, will pull this off actually better than my heat gun, a heat gun. You can, uh, overdo it. So just be very careful. So as you can see here, relax the sticker and you uh, you just push it down and uh, take your time. Don't rush. Uh, if you feel like you messed up, don't don't force it. Just uh, try to be patient with it. So right here, you can see that um, these pieces basically fold down into the uh, fan area. They do not block the the uh, the openings they are just um, they're put in as close as possible without making uh, multiple pieces and you can see that the stickers relax right there and uh, I've moved on to piece number four piece number four same thing you can just align it with the edges you can use your hands to kind of guide it you may need someone else to hold it or make some sort of prop to hold up your goggles but I can easily hold it with my palms and move my fingers uh, once I'm happy with it I can basically uh, just push it down I managed to get this uh, first try on there and uh, if you don't uh, it's not a big deal as long as you got the center figured out you can move it left to right and, uh, um, just go from there so now I'm happy with that side I'm gonna go to this side here you can see me just pulling it up and just adjusting it so you can make small adjustments and uh, the sticker won't mind at all and when you put the heat on again it relaxes the stickers so that uh, uh, it makes everything uh, pretty painless This piece here folds over, so it gives you the illusion of uh, maybe a hydro dip. I don't know how good you th might think this is. Uh, I tried to do my best to cover a lot of this. I'd say it's, uh, 75, maybe 80% coverage is what I've done, uh, minus the eye, eye piece. But uh, it definitely gives the goggle a unique look. And um, I was done with that piece there. Now this piece here is probably the most painful thing to do, especially when 
you're trying to make a template for this. So for you, you only have to do this once. For me, I've done this at least 30, 40 times. And uh, this video, I've fast forward because uh, uh, you don't need to see me trying to pick these things out. But you definitely need to pick to get these out. And um, this will not block your display. So you'll be able to see your channel numbers or your letters uh, or whatever it displays on the side. And uh, once you're done there, just gently pull it off. And all you have to do is just line it up with the actual holes. It's a uh, pretty bang on fit. Once you're happy with that, you push it down there in the middle and you can just check your edges. And like I said, I've left enough material to overlap. So it's not very critical on uh, how much gets left over. The, uh, the goggles themselves, uh, it's very hard to align a custom graphic on here. So basically, if you're looking for something custom, just uh, keep in mind that you want to do abstract work or uh, if you're not worried about alignment, then um, I have no problems printing out something for you that you may have. Um, just uh, make sure you email me. Um, depending on the job, we'll, uh, we can discuss cost. So here I'm moving on to the other side. Same thing, use a pick, pull it off gently, try not to rip it. And uh, just notice the placement, rotate, you don't have to rotate, just rotate it to, so it just looks the same here. And you can see it's gonna align here. And then this part over here is going to basically just fold over. And you can see the edge right there. So edge to edge, uh, it's uh, pretty bang on. So, uh, so from middle push out. So you can see there's lots of curves in here, so uh, you can't just slap it on and uh, be happy with it. You're going to have to add heat again. And you can see me here working out any bubbles, any wrinkles. If I'm not happy with it, I'll pull it back. I'll try again. And again, the various parts of this video are either sped up uh, a little bit or quite considerably just to uh, keep it uh, short. And as you can see here, I'm using a bit of heat, low heat again. You can see me using my thumb, so obviously it's not that hot. Uh, we don't want to ruin the damp. We don't want to ruin the goggles or the foam. And uh, there you can see that I took the, the clip off the one side, but I didn't on the other. So totally your choice if you want to put it on there or not. If you take it off, it'll probably be easier to, to put on. And this piece here is the, just underneath, I don't know what you want to call it, the skirt. Uh, it's a fairly decent uh, fit down here. And as long as you align it here to the edge, you can uh, just follow the contour. And uh, there's the hole there for the fan, the ventilation. This part there folds over. And then again, the sticker will not just uh, go on straight. You're going to have to coach it uh, because it's a curved surface. But uh, the sticker is very forgiving for uh, moving around. If you do fail, if you do manage to wreck a piece uh, quite badly, just email me and we'll work something out. I'll I could probably send you a piece uh, in a small envelope just to finish off your wrap. But you can see I'm doing the same thing on the other side. This side doesn't have the clip, so it's a little easier for me to just hold it down. And again, just just push it down along the edges. And then you're going to have to just, uh, you can probably pivot right here. You can pivot in the corner and then slowly just push it in and you're coaching it towards the right. A little bit of heat. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, 
Just use your finger to uh, finish it off. Just push it all down. Uh, do a once over in case any edges are uh, lifted. Put a little bit of heat on them. There you go. And your, your non sharp edge. I'm happy with the fit. Put your cover back on. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Skins available at nxgraphics.ca.